five things that are keeping you poor. Number one, a lack of forgiveness. I know this could seem like, oh yeah, I forgive, I forgive. Bro, queen, you have to find all the places where you still hold resentment because when we are holding resentment, we are clogging and blocking our energetic channel. And the more real estate, the more availability you have in your channel, the more money, the more abundance gets to pour from you and towards you. Number two, a lack of joy and play. You see, joy, play, and creativity are all connected. And I don't care if you are a janitor. If you were a janitor and there's seven other janitors, but you are the one that cleans the toilets from joy, from creativity, from flow, from play, I guarantee you that, that you will be the one who never gets fired if they have layoffs. You'll be the one that gets promoted to head janitor. It, there's something so beautiful and so magical when we tune in, tap in, and experience and operate from our own personal joy. Number three, you believe that there is a lack of money, resources, time for you. You see, in the Bible, it is said, it is done unto you as you believe. The as part is active. That means as you believe that there are not enough time, money, or resources for you. That is exactly what has to happen because we're always manifesting and the universe, God, Buddha, Krishna, Jesus, Allah, source, divine intelligence, whatever you want to call that thing, that thing can only and always say yes. So if you are believing that there's not enough for you, but there is for them, then the universe has to match that. Bullseye. Number four. You aren't paying attention to your personal current life. You see, spirit can only do for you what it can do through you. Said differently, you can't have what you want, but you may experience what you have. And so, when you pay attention to what you're having, meaning you're watching this from a computer or a cell phone, either one of those costs anywhere between $500 and $1,000. That means that money and abundance, you have figured out a way to be tuned into money and abundance. But if you believe slash think slash hold that your life is somehow cursed or wrong or bad because you don't have the fancy car or whatever it is you think you need to have, you're actually blocking those things from coming toward you until you actually fall in love with what you currently have. You have to appreciate truly, not like as a trick, not like as a manifestation trick so I can get more stuff, but like, hey, God, I'm grateful for this, this sweater I have on today. Hey, Spirit, thank you that I woke up in a bed this morning. Hey, divine intelligence, I truly appreciate that I can just go to a phone and dial some stuff in and then have Uber Eats or whatever the case may be dropped at my front door. Not let alone that I get to, I get to, I get to walk, I get to dance, I get to see. Oh my God, life is beautiful. Oh, I can hear the birds. I can experience the wind. Let's go. That level of abundance, that level of overflow is ridiculously potent. And in real estate, they talk about location, location, location. When you are operating from the location of gratitude, there is something that opens up. There are portals, there are energetic real estate. The birds begin to sing even louder when you're open. Yes, mm, it's a chorus. Okay, but then last but not least. When you wait, you send a signal to the universe to wait with you and to weigh you down. And so one of the things that is blocking most people from making money is perfectionism. Getting ready to get ready, sitting on the sidelines, staying inside your comfort zone. Everything you want is outside of, just outside of, way outside of, but it is outside of what you have currently built. And so your job is to stop waiting, to go find out, to swing over and over and over again till you figure out how it actually works. The people that are most successful on this planet are the ones who try stuff, who jump in, who find out, who give their love and give from the overflow and fall forward. 
Many of you are playing not to lose, but the game is to, is, 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 is to play to win and not win at the cost of somebody else, but win inside of yourself. You must give it all you got and all you got requires courageousness. People come to me all the time and they say, Preston, I'm not ready. And I say, ready is not a feeling, it's a decision. Decide to be ready today. Decide to be ready right now and watch your life drastically transform. Which one of these five hit you the hardest? Leave it in the comments right now and tell me what action you're gonna do connected to that one. Blessings and blessings. Thank you for taking this ride and this journey with me. If you're new to the family, you're new to the vibe, new to the tribe, and you haven't clicked that red subscribe button, please do so. And again, uh, the, the greatest gift you could give me is to go actually do some of this and then come back and tell me about it. Blessings and blessings. Oh, oh.